Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across slow proffering of your videos while browsing your internet on Windows 10. So it could be a wide variety of issues that are creating this problem from your ISP to your hardware to software to basically a lot of different areas. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a few hopeful workarounds, and I just want to say this probably won't work for every single person who's on this video, like for the reasons I mentioned, but in terms of the software solution, just kind of troubleshooting a couple common methods is what I'm going to be highlighting in today's tutorial. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I would suggest would be to open up the start menu, type in meter. When the best matches should come back to play streaming video at a lower resolution, go ahead and select that. So if it says I prefer video to play at a lower resolution, that's checkmarked in here, you just want to uncheck that. Now I would personally would suggest trying to check mark inside the box to prefer playing video at a lower resolution and see if video is buffering a little bit better. That could definitely be something there, so I would recommend checking into that. Another thing you can try if you close out of there would be to open up the start menu, type in control panel. Best match to come back with control panel, so go ahead and left click on that. Set your view by up here to category view, and then select network and internet. Select the view, network status, and task. And then underneath internet, select whatever is in this hyperlink right here. So just go ahead and select that. And then select the properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4, and then select Properties again. Make sure Obtain DNS Server Address automatically as well as Obtain an IP Address automatically are both selected here. There could be some weird proxy that's interfering with your Internet bandwidth, so let's just go ahead and set them both to Automatic if they're not already. So go ahead and select Close on all of that. Hopefully that would have been able to address the problem. Another thing we can try would be to go ahead and open up your web browser. So if you're usually using Google Chrome for your normal browsing habits, let's just open up Chrome for this example here. And we're going to select the menu icon near the top right corner of the browser window, three vertical dots. I'm going to go left click on that. And then I'm going to select the more tools option. And then I'm going to select the clear browsing data. So select advanced. And now you can keep as much or as little of these items checked as you want. I would suggest for the purpose of this video specifically, try to just keep the cookies and the cached images at a minimum. If you want to keep browsing history, download history, you don't have to have them deleted. You can uncheck them so they will stay on your system. Otherwise, I'm going to just keep them checked. And autofill form, we're not unchecking that. Site settings, password and other sign-in data, we're keeping all of that already on the browser, so that should not be removed. In time range, you want to click inside the drop down and select all time, and then select clear data. You should restart your computer once you've done that, not just the browser, and hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. Also, you can try opening up your browser too. I know a lot of times if you have a lot of extensions on your browser, so we're going to open up the menu icon again, and then select more tools, and then extensions. So if you notice you have a lot of extensions in here, especially if you don't use them, I'd recommend at least turning them off before removing them. So click inside the little oval to turn it off. You see a little gray oval, that means it's turned off. And then you can try removing it if you find any specific culprits that could be creating the issue. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and remove them. I'm just using the ones that are in here as an example by default, but you guys might have several. Uh, extensions on your web browser. A lot of people do, I find, so they could definitely be slowing down your browsing experience. So just keep that in mind. It's another place I would suggest looking to see maybe what is slowing down your buffering speeds. So close out of here. Again, restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to address your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.